Hi, this is Josh. Today we're going to be attempting the BGA CPU upgrade of this very cheap HP Stream 11 laptop. This laptop currently has the lowest end Broswell chip that there is, the Intel Atom X5 E8000. Now I picked this machine up for extremely cheap uh, about eight months ago, and I use it for pretty much only content consumption when I don't wanna have my nicer laptop out or when I don't wanna use a tablet. The machine isn't the quickest with this CPU, and especially browsing the web, there's a lot of stutter. So I wanted to get the maximum performance I could out of this platform, and the best way I could see to do that is to upgrade the CPU. And if we take a look at the list of uh, CPUs here, you can see here is the Atom X5 E8000, the uh, lowest end chip. We can ignore the Z-series chips as they're on a different socket. We're gonna look at the Celerons and Pentiums, as this Atom is technically part of this family here. So we're looking at the BGA 1170 socket, and I decided to go for the top end chip, the Mobile Pentium N3710. You can see I've already got the board bait, and I've also uh, removed the little red uh, glues around the uh, chip. So we're going to pull this chip and uh, put the new one on. Okay, so I got the motherboard cleaned of all the flux and back in the case. I also have the heat sink installed with some high quality thermal paste. I also have a new high quality thermal pad replacing the old worn out one here because the top cover has a bit of copper that helps the heat sink, which will be important because we do have one extra watt of power coming out of this uh, Pentium CPU compared to the Atom. So everything is together here. I'm gonna get the palm rest put on so we can test it out and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, the system is assembled. And I did give it a quick test off camera just to make sure it powers up before I snapped everything back together, and it does. I'll go ahead and show you now. We'll power on and start hitting the escape button to get into the startup menu. And there we go. We'll hit F10 to go into BIOS setup. And there you can go ahead and see the uh, date and time is a little bit off, actually. Let's go ahead and fix that. It's 1 in the morning. Fix that, there we go. So here you go, as you can see, we are running the Pentium N3710 with a 1.6 gigahertz base speed. We got the latest BIOS installed and four gigs of RAM. Everything's looking as it should. You can see that we have successfully performed the upgrade. How much faster this will make the machine remains to be seen. We will find out. So let's go ahead and give it a boot into Windows. Right? It still thinks the time is wrong, even though I set it in the BIOS. And here we are at the Windows 10 desktop. All right, I just corrected the date and time there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the system properties. And here you can see that we are running the Pentium CPU N3710 at 1.6 gigahertz. Let's take a look in the task manager. And uh, Windows 10 is probably doing a thousand things on startup. You can see we got our four cores here. CPU is going up to the uh, burst speed. All right, looks like the thermals are stable, even running Prime 95, so I'm gonna call this a win. All right, I've done a few more tests, and while the system does seem snappier in pretty much every single test I threw at it, it definitely isn't a screamer. We only went from an Atom to a Pentium, uh, not to like a Core i7 or anything, but it's definitely an improvement, and I'm looking forward to uh, using this machine over the next few days and discovering how much of an improvement there will be. I definitely will not miss this Atom X5 E8000. It's a very weak CPU and uh, will not miss it at all. 
Now, I do also want to point out that this was one of the more difficult swaps I've had to do. If you look at uh, these solder balls, they're very densely packed, especially around the edges there. And this is a very thin chip. Now, these balls are only 0.35 millimeter. And usually, I work with 0.45 or bigger. So, this has definitely been a little bit of a challenge for me to get done, especially since the motherboard is also thin and fragile. So, I wanted to just say to anyone who is... Uh, has some type of skill and thinks they're at their limit, push yourself and see what you can do. That's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed.